Grant Stovall, the CKUA Radio Network. Hello. What a voice. Hello. <laughs> Hello to the three of you. It's so great to get a chance to do this. Thank you for being here. Congratulations on this new series. What a treat to get to chat with some of the people who make Fraggle Rock happen for this new season. It's just launching here in spring 2024. We're joined now by three executive producers for Fraggle Rock, Back to the Rock. And uh, I'd love to be able to ask you, if possible, to, to introduce yourselves. And as you do so, I'd love to know what your own personal connection uh, has been with Fraggle Rock as far back as you can remember, you know, in your own life. Uh, Matt Fussfeld, I'm uh, one of the executive producers and head writers of the show. And uh, I mean, Fraggle Rock, you know, it's just like... Is there a better theme song ever in the history of television than than Fraggle Rock? It's just a magical thing that that my writing partner and I cannot believe we've had the opportunity and privilege to to work on. Hallie Stanford, executive producer of Fraggle Rock and president of television at the Jim Henson Company. Uh, Jim Henson was my hero. Uh, as a kid, it's the reason that I'm here. It's the reason, you know, like Kermit the Frog, I got on my bike and uh, and bike to Hollywood uh, to work here. Fraggle Rock, my memory, my first memory of Fraggle Rock is lying on my stomach with my head in my hands watching the Fraggles uh, on TV and loving it and just wishing that there was a little Fraggle hole that I could go down with, <laughs> with Gobo and have adventures. I do wish that there was. And yes, kids, there really are. They really yeah, exist. That's right. Uh, I'm John Tartaglia. I play Gobo Fraggle, and I'm an executive producer and uh, writer. And this season, I got to direct an episode, which is amazing. Uh, and I was about seven years old when I found Fraggle Rock, and it changed my life. And I knew literally in the moment I saw it that I was like, that's what I want to do. And I used to tell people that my dream job no longer exists. They'd say, what do you mean? And I would say it was to work on Fraggle Rock, but it's done. So I think it's still very surreal to be sitting here many, many years later and be like, oh, we made Fraggle Rock again. So it literally has been part of my life as young as I can remember. And um, it's the greatest thing I've ever done. Well, congratulations. And my heart is already melting. I, I'd love to maybe, John, maybe we could, we could ask you because as you say, you've kind of done it all where Fraggles are concerned from puppetry to directing to writing to voicing. Uh, I wonder, like this season really builds so beautifully on the tradition and the legacy and and the whole universe of Fraggle Rock, but it really pushes these, you know, these beloved characters into some at times trying situations. It feels like there's a, a a beautifully crafted arc to the whole season. Can you tell us what are what are some of the motifs you were chewing on here and some of the things that really drive season two? Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, you know, we we always put a lot of thought into what are going to be the themes this year. What, what, what are we going to talk about? You know, that's what the original series did so beautifully is they hit these big, big themes in a very, you know, accessible way for kids. And so this year, um, you know, it was climate change and food insecurity. Those are our two big kind of overarching storylines that go through all 13 episodes. Um, and then throughout, we pepper a lot of other really important things in there, you know, not dismissing someone because of, you know, what they look like, you know, uh, materialism, um, you know, the, the value of others, the value of hope. There's so many different things we try to hit this year. And, and I think what's so exciting is that we get to do it with these characters and in this world that, you know, is so ridiculous, <laughs> you know, we get to have so much fun. And, and I think it's, um, but it's a big part of, of, of Jim Henson's legacy is that, you know, everything he created had meaning behind it. And so we're always trying to keep that in the back of our minds as we're, as we're going through and making the show. Yeah. And I'd love to talk to you a little bit about the legacy in particular, where the music is concerned, because of course, that's always been central to the whole experience from the get go. And we're a Canadian radio station. And, you know, there's been a couple of key Canadians at the core of that music right from the start. Dennis Lee and Philip Balsam. Matt, you mentioned the music. Could, could you maybe tell us a little bit about what what their work has meant to the Fraggle Rock world and to and to the reboot in particular? Oh, my God. I mean, it's meant it's meant the world to it. Like, uh, you know, in every episode, we have one legacy song, usually written by Balsam and Lee, and uh, it's reimagined by our executive music producer, Harvey Mason Jr. And he just does this lovely job of kind of like, I mean, the songs don't really need updating, but uh, he just sort of reinterprets them a little bit. And then he also creates uh, an original song with Andrew and Sam. And uh, it's really kind of incredible how these songs feel like they were written at the same, at the same time, even though they're like, you know, 30 years apart. But 
I mean, the, the unbelievable part about working on this show, Jim Henson's Fraggle Rock, is it attracts just the most amazing music stars that are just kind of signing up to do it in a way. It's not, it's never easy, but it, they they want to do it. This year we have Ariana DeBose, we have Adam Lambert, uh, we have Espa, the K-pop band, and it's just really, the music is really stand out this year. Well, Matt, Holly, John, thank you so much for this. It's been such a pleasure. And I guess I get to speak with a couple of your distinguished colleagues, those being Red and Moki. <laughs> oh, yeah. You'll have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Congratulations once thank more. And you. thank you for thank all this joy. You.